Hi, Leo. Welcome to your weekly forecast for November 14th through the 20th. This is for Leo Sun, Moon, and Rising. We're going to connect and see what messages are coming up here for the lovely Leo Collective. Um, you might stumble upon this video at a much later time frame. That's fine. You're going to see it whenever you're meant to see it, whenever it's time to hear the messages that are in it. Keep in mind, this is a general reading for the collective. Therefore, not every single message is going to resonate, and that's okay. Take what does, leave what doesn't. So without further ado, my dears and my darlings, we're going to see what we have coming up here for Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and Leo Rising. I'm going to move you all just a little bit closer. And the first card coming up here for the collective is the Four of Wands. Okay, so this could be some kind of celebration, some kind of getting together. Sometimes this card can come up when we're being invited to something and maybe we don't want to go. And the Four of Wands says, hey, this could be a really great experience for you. You might actually really enjoy this. Four of Wands can also come up sometimes when there's some kind of a homecoming, returning to uh, where you grew up or returning to go see family and things going well and realizing and seeing how far you've come and kind of being celebrated. There could be that sense, a trip back home. Four of Wands also um, in a lot of love readings can be seen as marriage, getting married or a wedding. Some of you may be manifesting marriage or uh beginning to talk about uh, marriage or planning a wedding with with a significant other there could be movement toward towards marriage here for some of you now i do see the four of wands come up for me in readings um in two other really strong ways and to be honest this is the way i feel it's coming up for the leo collective um here energetically okay so i see it come up um, for those who are maybe not necessarily focused on love, I see four of wands come up in a way where you're establishing stability and security in your life in a sense of home, like being able to actually put down roots and being able to actually have like a social circle and friends who are like family, like feeling part of a community right? Not just like this is where I live, but this is my community. These are my friends. These are the people I hang out with. These are the people that uh, celebrate good things with me and celebrate with me in happy occasions and accomplishments. And so I see four of wands sometimes come up when we're finally being able to put down some roots. And maybe for some of you Leos, life has been a bit unpredictable. Maybe you've had to move around a lot. Maybe you just haven't felt at home in the places where you've been. Uh, and the Four of Wands can sometimes come up for me when you're finally establishing that sense of home and that sense of community and feeling grounded and rooted. In terms of love, right? I know traditionally this can be seen as weddings and marriage, but a little bit deeper than that. In terms of love, I see the Four of Wands come up when sometimes you've had this cycle or period of having lovers, what do I mean by that? You may have had lovers with whom you've had intense um, connection. Like there could be really strong past life connection, really strong soulmate connection. And there may even have been true love there. Like you feel this person loves you and you love this person. And there could have just been really true deep emotions there. I'm not just talking about wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, but, or, or thank you, sir. You know, th there, there may have been like real emotion there, but the relationship never progressed into the daylight the the relationship never progressed to where your friends and family were spending time with their friends and family you never like integrated or intertwined your lives it was just kind of like you had this little secret world together and you had this strong connection together but it never progressed into making a life together why because you're very connected in a very strong past life way but you're not on the same path in this lifetime. So you were never really able to mesh your lives together. And so when I see the four of wands, you're coming out of that cycle of lovers. You're coming out of that cycle of like these soulmates, 
uh, maybe you're finishing unfinished business with or you're having like one last romance before parting ways in your evolution or whatever it might be. But now you're coming into four of wands where it's like no more soulmate, soulmates in the lover way, but now like life partner, someone that you have that romantic, passionate connection with, but you're also on the same path to where you can actually build a future together. So uh, this is these are the ways I'm feeling it come up for Leo. The next card that's coming up here for the Leo Collective is the Five of Cups. Now, Five of Cups can be disappointment. For some of you, you're not wanting to go back home for a visit or you're not wanting to go to this event. But this is saying, hey, this could be a really great thing. For other ones of you, you're scared. This new opportunity is here. The, the, there's a chance to... Uh, like grow roots or there's a chance here uh, for marriage or for like life partner energy and you may be afraid because it's like you don't want to feel the five of cups can come up when we don't want to feel we're feeling emotionally overwhelmed and we're maybe feeling scared of being disappointed because in the past we've been disappointed but five of cups can come up to say resist the urge to self-medicate resist the urge to numb your emotions and give yourself permission to uh, experience this to, to kind of uh, brush yourself off dust yourself off uh, leave the past in the past and embrace this new experience and see where it's taking you and see where it's leading you. Um, this is the holiday season, depending on where you live. And so for some of you, you might be thinking about past disappointments or you might be thinking about, you know, um, you know, family or, uh, you know, a, a way or a sense like you might be feeling kind of lonely and the four of wands is coming up to say, you're going to have that stability. You're going to have that security. You're going to have that sense of family. Like, don't worry. This is the energy that you're in. This is what's coming up ahead. And you don't have to feel lonely or you don't have to feel scared. And you don't have to numb your emotions. Because here at the foundation and at the heart, we have the four of wands. We have stability and security. And so if I'm being honest with you, Leo... Take it with a grain of salt. I feel having the five of cups come up with the four of wands says some of you are feeling tempted to kind of like self-sabotage here. And that happens. That's like a normal human uh, emotion that we get. But I feel like this card is coming up to say resist that urge of self-sabotage. You know, maybe you need to go slow. Maybe you need to take breaks. Maybe you need to take naps. Um, maybe you need to distract yourself and uh, get into some lighter hearted energy and like watch a funny movie or go do something fun or go do something playful to take your mind off of the feelings of vulnerability. Um, affirmations are also very helpful. Affirmations, you know, that remind you it's safe for you to receive uh, you deserve to be happy. You're going to be happy. You are happy. Excuse me. Right. So affirmations in, in, in this way uh, could also be very helpful in overcoming this five of cups energy. The next card that's coming up here for the Leo Collective is the nine of wands. You have some really good things coming in, but you are guarded. Leo, you're super guarded. And I'm not surprised about that at all because Leos, you guys love big and you love hard and you're very generous. And when I'm talking about love, it doesn't even have to be romantic. It could be family situations, friendships, even in work. You might be very wholehearted. You might be very like committed. You might be really much like, you know, this team player and a part of the team and being there for people, right? So you may, you know, like Leos love hard and Leos are very generous. And Leos are very like wholehearted in what they do. Unfortunately, right, when we have this big energy and we have these big giant hearts, we attract people who take advantage. We attract people who will use us up, right, or uh, take advantage of our generosities or our kindness or our loyalties. And so some of you are guarded because of these past experiences, 
And now there's this new opportunity here. Now there's this new offer. And you're like, I don't know about it. Like you're being skeptical. I don't know. I don't want to get burned again. I don't want to get taken advantage again. I don't want to get played for a fool again. Right? It's just going to be all like the other times. And Nine of Wands says, hold on now. Hold on now. Nine of Wands, every single one of these wands is a battle this poor guy had to fight. And he's got that bandage around his head. He's not without injury. He's taken some hits, some blows. He's had some injuries. But he's still standing. And he's still alert. And he still has fight left in him. And every single one of these battles made him stronger. Every single one of these battles gave him wisdom and experience. And so Nine of Wands comes up to say, Leo, you don't have to be scared of new opportunities because this is not your first rodeo nine of wands says there's absolutely positively nothing new under the sun anybody can come at you with you've seen every lie you've seen every dirty little trick in the book you've seen every little manipulation there's nothing new anybody can come at you with so as long as you're paying attention you're going to see red flags if there are any red flags. And you're going to be able to nip that in the bud right away. You're not going to get pulled into getting suckered by another situation. You're not going to get pulled into another lover situation. You're not going to get pulled into another like entanglement or karmic situation. Because you already know what the signs are in those situations. So Nine of Wands is saying you can trust yourself to make good decisions. You can trust yourself to trust the right people. You can trust yourself to accept the right opportunities for yourself. You don't have to be scared. You don't have to be afraid. All you have to do is stay alert and pay attention. And if something's not right, you'll know because you've seen it before. So I feel there's a sense here in Leo in like trusting yourself. Trusting yourself and knowing that you're going to let in the right people, places, and things for yourself because you're wiser now. You've had these experiences and they've made you wiser and they've made you more capable. So you don't have to be scared about the decisions that you're making. The next card that's coming up here for the Leo Collective, look at this. I love it. It's you and your beautiful energy. Now, it's not the strength card, but it still has the Leo element, and that makes me so excited, more so than typically, right? Uh, I know the sun card in general is very positive. It's happiness. It's success. It's true love. It's playfulness, it's freedom, it's travel, it's being seen, it's being celebrated, it's all these positive things. But for me in my readings, when I'm reading for someone and your major arcana card comes up, it's like this is everything is connected to you coming into your power, taking back your power and living your best authentic life unapologetically, unconcerned with the thoughts and opinions of others, just living your best life and having a good old time. Right, and being in your confidence. And so there's the Leo element to the Sun card, and that makes me really excited to see this come up for you because it really confirms what I was saying. You can trust yourself to make the right decisions. You can trust yourself to be in your power. You can trust yourself that you can be that beautiful, big hearted, loyal, generous Leo that you are and not get taken advantage of, but rather have people in your life that celebrate that about you and appreciate that about you and cherish that about you and don't take advantage of it. Don't take it for granted. Uh, the, the sun card is also one of my true love cards. So there could be here where you're manifesting not just marriage and stability, but actual true love and actual happiness. Um, being seen, being celebrated also here with the sun card. Sun card for me is the opposite of codependency, the opposite of codependent relationships. So you're coming into a time where you can fully, truly be yourself and not feel like you have to edit yourself or water yourself down for anybody, but really, truly being your full self. You may want to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos. Some weeks, your moon sign or rising sign might resonate more than your sun sign. You may need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do. There's a link in the description that will take you to my scheduling page, calendly.com slash amethystangelite. 
and you can schedule a private reading with me there. There's also a link in the description that will take you to the playlist for the weekly forecasts so you can see the other videos. Also a playlist that will take you to the love readings for November if you want to check those out. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you have a fabulous week ahead. Take care and be well, my darlings.